Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn market to book ratio, or it is also called price to book ratio. I will explain this concept with the help of a formula that how you can calculate market to book ratio, and I will share with you a real life example so you will understand it better that how we are using market to book ratio. I will also explain that what ratio will be best to buy the shares in between. So first of all we need to know what is market to book ratio. So market to book ratio it is a financial tool which evaluates the company's current market price as compared to its book value. Now what is current market price? The current market price is the existing shares price or the stocks price in the market and what is the book value book value is uh, whatever the amount left after liquidating the assets when we are converting our all assets into cash and we are paying the liabilities whatever is left in our books of accounts that is our book value so this is very important for the investors to know the company's market to book ratio so they can easily invest in those companies. These ratios used when we are acquiring any company or when we are making merge with any company so we need to know the worth of that company. Now let's see how we can calculate with the help of formula. Let me share with you a formula first and then we will go to the real life example. So first of all here we have formula how to calculate. The formula is market to book ratio or price to book ratio is equal to market capitalization divided by book value. Market capitalization is equal to stock price multiplied by shares outstanding. Now what are the shares outstanding? The stock price it is okay this is the current market price. So what is the shares outstanding? Shares outstanding comes on your balance sheet liability side under the capital so whatever the shares outstanding with the partners those values called share outstanding and what is the book value now total assets minus total liabilities is the company's net value will come as a book value market capitalization divided by book value so whatever the ratio comes that is the worth of the company next we can calculate it by shares market to book ratio or price to book ratio market price of per share the one share market price divided by book value of per share the shares outstanding remember under the capital there are partners who are buying shares so whatever the outstanding shares are with them the value of that one share so market price of one share divided by book value of per share you will get also the market to book ratio. Now let me show you an example. Now at the end of 2019 ABC stock was trading for $418 per share. This is the price of per share with a market capitalization of 60 billion. So how much is the quantity of shares? So quantity of shares you can calculate 60 billion divided by 418 you will get the quantity of shares that how much shares are trading right now at the end of 2019. So this is the market price of one share and this is the total capitalization price. So at the end of 2019 balance sheet they had assets of 30 billion and liabilities of 20 billion. Their book value was 30 minus 20 billion is equal to 10 billion. Assets minus liabilities so the net value of the balance sheet of that company is 10 billion. So we are going to calculate now market capitalization divided by its book value. 60 billion this is the market capitalization divided by 10 billion this is the book value of the company worth. So it is equal to 6. In other words you are paying 6 dollar for each dollar of net assets as compared to the book value of the company. So this ratio is very high. Now I will tell you what is the best ratio. 
This ratio you can also calculate like this is the $418 per share price and here at the balance sheet the book value of per share if you divide both of them you will get the same value which is 6. This is the ratio 6. This is a very high ratio. So should you invest on this ratio? I think no it is very expensive you know uh, below 1 is very cheap ratio and above 3 is very expensive ratio you need to remember you need to between 1 to 3 is a good ratio if above 3 it is very expensive and if lower than 1 it is very cheap so guys this is what I have for today I hope you like today's video and understand the market to book ratio well Please subscribe my channel so it keeps me motivated to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.